So welcome to another edition of The Word According to Me, your boy AJ Tripp. So tonight, I'm going to talk about bucket lists. And I'm sure you've heard the term bucket list. A bucket list is something that you want to do before you die, you know, because it's all about the phrase, kick the bucket, which means to, to pass away. And so your bucket list is things that you want to do before you die. Now, I think there you can not go that far. There are some things that you can do, you know, for that term where it doesn't have to be about you dying. It could just be that you want to get done before a certain time, you know, you know, before you get old or something. And, um... That's what this is about right here for me. This is my bucket list that I want to do before I get too old. No, so let's start off with um, the St. Patrick's Day celebration. Now, the last couple years I've gone out on... Uh, well, St. Patrick's Day has been on a weekend, but I've gone out during during that weekend, that Friday or Saturday, and the things I've seen, you know, kind of make me, well, it doesn't kind of, I really do want to try and, you know, celebrate, celebrate like this, because it's, it's, uh, it's a fun thing, you know, and I, I think what it is, it's not necessarily the fact that, you know, it's, the actual trying to celebrate creation or anything like that, but maybe I think more or less it's kind of like just being with friends and you know just hanging out, things like that and having fun. So um, yeah, I, I like to do that. I like to try and do a St. Patrick's Day, you know, or St. Patrick's Weekend type celebration one time, you know, before I not only before I get old, but you know before I have you know hopefully just hopefully now. I don't know, but hopefully before I get married and, you know, have kids and things like that. So I would definitely love to, you know, have that be one of the things that I want to do. Uh, I also would like to have a birthday party thrown for me. Now, when I was younger, I had birthday parties, but it was kind of like family things. And like one of my um, cousins, she's a little older than me. Her birthday was on the 10th. Of January, my birthday was on the 11th, so we kind of celebrated together. So you know, those were kind of parties, but you know, I think I'm talking about maybe the kind of thing where, you know, again, friends or a girlfriend would, you know, kind of you know, get something together so that, bam, you know, and it would just be like at a club or whatever, and it would just be like a birthday party for me and kind of won't have my day you know I, know I know that sounds like unmanly you know you're not supposed to have your day but uh, especially with a birthday but you know I, it's just i never had that because i think some guys do get that i saw a lot of videos on youtube where uh guys are celebrating the 18th and 21st birthday you know parties and things like that and i get into that another time but yeah I, I, you know since i'm older now i just it was like a birthday party thrown for me. I think that would be pretty nice. Um, I like to go to the NFL draft, and you know, because when you watch the NFL draft, you know, it's there in New York City, and it's there, uh, and they talk about all these, you know, wonderful things, and oh, excuse me, you know, and you know, you do all these, you know, and you go there and you. Then I I wouldn't want to like go like on the, the Saturday where you did sit sit through all the six rounds. Although I, I guess I'll take what I can get. But if I could be there for that first day, when like all the all of the big names are drafted, I would love to be there for that day. Cause I think that would be pretty awesome. I'm a huge football fan. I would love there, and I could sit there and maybe boo. Or cheer whoever the Bears pick. That would be pretty awesome. So yeah, I like to go to the NFL draft definitely. I like to go there at least once. Um, 
Maybe even the Kentucky Derby. Yeah. I'm thinking about maybe the Kentucky Derby too. Um, here's why. I'm not a big I'm not a big horse race, horse racing fan. I almost said horse race. A little bit of mercy. I'm not a big horse racing fan, but I think again it kind of goes back to the the, the, you know, the St. Patrick's Day thing, where it's just about maybe being with you know friends or being with the, a girlfriend or a wife or something, and just having a, a good time and having a new experience. Especially if you're gonna go to the infield, if you're gonna, if, you know, because uh, I think in the infield you don't have to try to do all that dressing up bullshit that they be trying to do. You know, I think it's just, you know, you go to the infield, have fun, get drunk, whatever, watch some horses, maybe throw a bet down too. So, yeah, I, I think that's something that I would like to try. So, you know, go to the going to the Kentucky Derby. Now this one's kind of an odd one, and this is probably well, there's all of them are unlikely, but I think this is probably the most unlikely to happen, and that's for me to have my picture taken, uh, getting um, the double kiss on each cheek from two girls. You know, I um, during the age of MySpace uh, and. Sometimes, I don't think I've seen a lot on Twitter. I think most of them I saw were on MySpace. You know, and, and that's when I saw, yeah, I said MySpace. That's when I saw, like, all of those pictures of, like, the guys. And they had to, you know, getting kisses from two girls. And, oh, well, actually, I think I also saw some uh, from, um, uh, like, a couple of YouTube videos about pictures with um, Bezos Lapis Labial. Which it kind of translates to um, lipstick kisses. Uh, so I think I saw some some things about that, and maybe saw some pictures on there. You know, kind of like getting that you know the double kisses, and so and like I, I just again I think it's you know it's just something where you know something I've never experienced. And I was like, well, you know, it's. You know how? Why would you want that? You know why do you do you need that? You know type of thing. And you no, know, I probably don't need it. But you know, I just think this is something that I would like to have. You know what I'm saying? It's just you know something that I feel like. I guess something that made me feel like I was you know something somebody. I don't know. I just want it. It's on my bucket list. Um, this one I really, this one I'm, I'm gonna try to get done without question. If I don't get to do any of these other ones, this I'm gonna try to get done. And that's snowboard. I want to snowboard. I love the cold. I love the snow. I love. I want to go snowboarding. I want to go to Aspen or Vail or something maybe one time, and just you know and try to snowboard. I don't want to ski. Don't want to ski. If you break your leg and you some other things happen when you ski. But your snowboard seems like safe because you're on the board, you got the helmet. If you fall, you can kind of break your fall like you know, like kind of like the wrestlers. Boom, you know, don't take a bump. That's what I want to do. I want to snowboard, and I'm gonna do my best to try to get that done. Even even if I'm 45, I still want to do that. It only be one time, might break my hip, but I want to snowboard. Are there anything else? You know, you know there, there, are, there are obviously things that I obviously that I want to do that you wouldn't you wouldn't put on 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 a bucket list. You know, like get married or have kids or anything like that. Um, you know what? Actually, now that, you know, I think that, I just thought of another one. Um, I like to play. An organized game of some type of sport. I never get. I never did that. And I know you might think well, you never did that. Well, I don't know. What you think? I don't know if you've ever seen me or not. But you know, when I grow up, I wanted to be football. I wanted to be Walter Payton. And you know, I was thinking I was gonna be Walter Payton. And when I got into high school, I was not the size of a running back. 
So when people say, talk about when we play football, they want me to play on the line. And that turned me off to playing. That and the fact, let's be honest, let me, I'm be honest with you guys. Uh, I was lazy. Still am lazy now. And things like that. So I just, you know, but if I had a little more get up and go and I was more open-minded, maybe I wouldn't have been on the offensive line. But I could have been on the defensive line. You know, rushing the pass. I could have been a tight end. You know, catching the ball. That could have been that too. So, but I didn't want to do that. I came into, came into liking baseball later. You know, way too late. You know, for that. I started liking baseball during the 98, you know, um, race between Sosa and McGuire. Also, then obviously, because it was a Chicago guy, I became a Cub fan. So, but... So that was too late to, you know, become a, a you know, a baseball player, things like that. And, uh, well, see, it's so hard because, you know, when you say that you can't play, ba you know, basketball, you can play basketball. I can't play. I mean, I know what all, I know the rules and how to play and things like that. But I can't dribble and I can't shoot. And when you, and at, at six, three, you know, you will you need to do both you know being a defensive specialist at six three doesn't that's not gonna help and if i was six seven six eight yeah be a defensive specialist end up being ron art has to somebody but it's not when you're you know six three so so i think um that's pretty much all i can think of right now um but i you know i i'm i'm Trying to keep it less down and write it, you know, keep it down so that I know what I want to do. But I think for the most part, I've told you what I wanted to do on the bucket list. So, and again, this isn't about, you know, things that you want to do before that you die. Or anything like that. These are just things that maybe you want to do before you get older. Things you want to do before you settle down and have kids and things like that. I, I think I would advise everyone out there, young and older, to uh, do a bucket list. Maybe things that you've done or that you want to do, that you want to get done before a certain time period. Again, it doesn't have to be before you die, but there's the things that you want to do for a certain time period. Like one thing. That, I, that was on my bucket list years ago was going to spring break. Never went to spring break. I didn't go to college, didn't have a lot of money. The whole friends thing I said about earlier, I didn't have a lot of friends. So, never got the opportunity to go to spring break. At 32, at, I'm, at th I'm 32 years old right now. Going on spring break is one of three things. It's staying at home, going to Vegas, or going to Atlantic City. It's not going to Cabo, going to Cancun, going to Jamaica, going to Daytona Beach, going to South Carolina, going to South Padre, going to Lake Havasu. It's not those things anymore for, for a 32-year-old male. Uh, you go to Vegas, Atlantic City, or you stay at home. So that would have been on my list earlier, but now since I'm older, it's not on my list. But... Uh, like I told you earlier, I hope to con you know to accomplish some of these things, have some of these things accomplished, especially the snowboarding. I'm going to try to make that happen one way or the other, but I really hope I get the opportunity to do so. Um, so that was this video, bucket list. What is your bucket list? I think everyone should try it. Everybody should, you know, you got to make a video, but write it down, make a list. Do what you want to do before a certain time period. For you get married, for you have kids, for you get older, or even maybe even before you die. Who knows? So that's my time. It's your boy AJ Trip signing off. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at a triplet twenty. Follow me uh, on my written blog a triplet twenty dot blogspot dot com, and of course right here on YouTube. Peace out, everybody.